Hello everyone, in this video I'll be discussing the preference options inside of Wondershare Uniconverter. To access your preferences, of course you need to launch the application, but then we're going to go up to the options and click on preferences, the first button that appears. First we have the general preferences section. This is where we can adjust the general application settings, like whether we play a sound whenever conversion is finished, we can change the global language of our application here, we can set how often we want to check for updates, and we can also reset all warning dialogs, which before we would have pressed do not ask me again about this. And to save any of the options you change in any of these preference tabs, hit OK, or to cancel, just hit cancel, which will not save any changes. In the convert preferences tab, we have options to remove the source file once we're done converting it. This is usually not recommended because you may want to keep the original footage for reference. You also have an ability to automatically add files to an iTunes library after we convert it. We can keep chapter markers from things like DVD files. And if you have a graphics card enabled on your computer, you can enable GPU acceleration, which will greatly increase the speed of your video conversions. Also in the convert tab, we can load all movies or just the main movies inside of a DVD. This will include DVD menus and other content depending on what you select. And we can also set the maximum number of conversion tasks, which if you have a more powerful computer, you may be able to handle converting more than one thing at once. In the download tab, we have access to all of the sort of the downloader options from the application. This is including how many maximum number of downloads we can do. We can also have a one-click download uh, where we select some presets, like we want to download the video in full HD and English subtitles if available. We can one-click and download with these settings. You can also automatically download subtitles along with any video that has them. You can auto-resume unfinished tasks like downloads that stopped when you restart the program. And you can also merge the subtitles to the output video so they're baked in the video and you don't need to uh, have them separately on a file. The location tab of the preferences is very self-explanatory and simple. These are where all of our default locations for exports, conversions, and recordings will be. So you can change any of the locations you want. Say I wanted to change my converted files instead of on this particular folder, maybe I want them on my desktop, or you can hit reset to go back to the original options it was applied to. And lastly, we have the account tab where you can add your account from Facebook, Linda, Vimeo, or Nikonico. And from here, you can have access to your social media, which will allow you to convert and apply videos to social media accounts. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's all about the preferences and how to modify them inside of Wondershare Unit Converter.